On behalf of the Black Students Network of McGill, we'd like to thank you for coming here tonight to stand in solidarity with us and to send our prayers and support to the people of Ferguson and to Michael Brown's family. The BSN is greatly disappointed with the decision of the grand jury released last night. We're here to bring attention to the recurring problem of police brutality in black communities. We are saddened and heartbroken by the results of this case, and we hope that initiatives will be taken to better the relations between law enforcement and black communities so that young men will no longer have to fear for their lives at the hands of those who are entrusted to protect us. We are here to declare that Black Lives Matter. With last night's non-indictment of um, Darren Wilson, obviously it was a very controversial decision. Um, it was a very emotionally charged decision. And BSN, because of this uh, decision, stands in solidarity with the people of Ferguson who continue to uh, fight for what they believe in. I mean, Mike, Mike Brown may be some kid in America, but he's, when I look, I think about the situation, it could be my, my kid, my future son, it could be my cousin, my brother, my dad, my, my uncle, you know, anyone. And it doesn't, I don't have to be necessarily connected to the person directly to feel compelled to come here. And it's, it's not something about a black person who got killed, but it's really about a life, you know. We actually got the opportunity to Skype with one of the organizers for the protests in Ferguson and what I found really interesting was that she was telling us despite the fact, you know, that the, the Mike Brown case might seem like one isolated incident that just, like, you know, blew up uh, on the media scene, this is nothing new. As a black male in the society, you know, we're criminalized, marginalized, and, you know, people need to realize America is built on oppression. It's built on the slavery and genocide of whole peoples. Um, you know, it's institutionalized in the American system. Um, one of the things that really concerns me about the way that, um, you know, the Michael Brown or Trayvon Martin uh, killings have been covered is the way that the victims are vilified and their killers are <laughs> in turn glorified. It's very easy to internalize these um, stereotypes and negative images that we're essentially watching like their case studies, but these are people, these are human lives and all lives matter and that should be, you know, that should go without saying. A lot of us are away from home and away from our families and if you need that family to be able to speak to, we will be your family and we will never forget Mike Brown. Thank you.